Hello, and welcome to BitBytes, the video series that will take you on an exciting journey of mobile DevOps with BitRise. If you're new to the world of mobile CI/CD, don't worry, we've got you covered. In this BitBite, we'll be talking about how to add a new app with BitRise CLI. Adding a new app to BitRise through the command line interface, or CLI, is a fast and easy process. Before you can try adding an app to BitRise, we have to make sure you have a few things first. You'll need a BitRise account with a connected Git provider. Your project should have a local Git repo on your machine, as well as a remote repo at your Git provider. Now you can also create a BitRise YAML in advance, and you'll be able to add that to your app during the creation process. This is optional. You can have the project generate one for you during the process, just like on our website. Now follow along with me as I add a new app to BitRise through the CLI. First, we're gonna head over to the Create New App from the CLI page. You can reach this page from your dashboard by clicking the Add button at the top right and then selecting Add New App from CLI. First, we'll set the app's privacy and then we'll copy the curl command you'll find there. Next, we're gonna head over to your terminal and change to the directory where your project's located. Paste in that curl command and hit enter. First, we'll decide how the BitRise YAML file should be uploaded. You can either have the scanner generate one based on your project files, or you can provide the file. Now, if your repo already contains the BitRise YAML, the path will be automatically filled in. In our case, we're gonna generate a new one. Next, we'll select the branch we'll use. The default option is currently the active branch. Now, if you select no, you'll be prompted to check out the branch you wish to use. Once you do, hit enter again, and the scanner will start. And once the scanner is done, it will either detect your app's type or it will switch to manual configuration. Manual configuration just means that you'll have to select the type of your app, whether it's an iOS, Android, React, or Flutter, and you'll have to provide the path to the relevant config file. Next, select the distribution method. And for us, we're gonna be selecting development. Next, you can select the stack you want to use. If the scanner detects your project type, a stack will be automatically recommended, but you can change it in the CLI if you want. If you performed manual configurations as described above, you would have to choose the stack too. For our case, we'll just keep the default stack. Now we'll finish the process by setting up webhooks and code signing files. You can decide to skip the webhook registration, but it's required to automatically trigger builds on BitRise. You can then upload code signing files. Depending on your app's type, you'll be asked if you want to upload an iOS code signing files and the tool run code signing doc for you, or if it's an Android, you'll have to upload the Android key store file. You can upload these files at any time on our website as well. Now that's it, you're done. The URL to your new app will be printed out and you can view this app in your dashboard. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and tune in to future episodes of BitBytes. We'd love to hear your feedback and suggestions for future topics, so please don't hesitate to reach out and join the community conversation at discuss.bitrise.io. Thanks again for watching and happy building.